We're just trying to do the best we can with our money. And Mr. Adams went out and he, uh, he, he got a loan from one of the local banks for what, $6.5 million? Is that, is that okay. right there? And and we it, loaned on credit. credit. Pardon, John? It's a line of credit. Yeah, it's a line of credit. Okay, thank you, Gary. I appreciate that. And, and, and he got a low rate with it, correct? I mean, I, I mm -hmm. and, and so so we got the money at a low rate, which is good for all of us and all that. And uh, we're going to move with this money here to do the, the the ones we feel that need to be done immediately. And there's a lot of them that will get done with that money. And uh, and then we can move forward. And stuff. But just a little bit of an update. Yeah. What are we doing now? We're spending another six point seven million dollars, but it's it's going to be good money spent. For, 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 for school. So. Thank you, Mr. McDonough. Yeah, the um, CM3 has been presenting to the board since October-ish a list of uh, projects. And the board, over the course of time, has narrowed those projects down to a list that we feel are necessary to be completed this summer. So those are the ones that we moved on uh, in the first motion tonight. The second motion was regarding the bank, it just allows us to draw up to that limit. It doesn't mean we're going to. Um, we don't have to. It's just it's just a formality to say, this is what we agree not to exceed. Okay. Um, I don't know if you care to share anything to us. I mean, you, you've been very helpful throughout the work sessions. I'd like to add, though, uh, they gave us some very nice uh, photos that I think were on the uh, website of before and after during the last project. And you can tell, just even from a distance, of, of the external work that was done, and it was done very well. I'll leave them up here in case anybody would like to look at them, but uh, they did a nice job for us, and these, these kind of show you at least some of the progress. Well, we, we certainly appreciate the opportunity to um, to go to work for the district when, when we were um, in the spot last year, uh, trying to identify needs, the, there were certainly more needs than there there were uh, available funds in the in the first go around of the project. And so, um, speaking to what what is going to happen this summer in terms of construction, the majority of what we're doing is either a combination of building envelope or things that were original to the building. Uh, the auditorium seats were original to the building. Um, it's kind of amazing that the maintenance staff has been able to uh, to keep that going as long as they have. Um, it's it's one of the most important spaces in the uh, in the school in terms of how the public interacts with um, the high school, the middle school, and, and anywhere in the district. Um, but in terms of building envelope, in terms of uh, like Donnie mentioned, the, the water tower, um, they're either systems that were original and had not been upgraded or not been addressed in a capital project previously, um, or there are systems that, that need to be addressed now to make sure that we're extending the life of the building, that we're doing all the things that we need to do to, um, to make sure that everything's in good repair and we're in good shape moving forward. So that was the, the selection criteria uh, from all the different areas that, that we identified in working with the district and working with Dave Robinson and the maintenance staff, and they, they were extremely helpful working not only with us, but uh, with our engineers to try to figure out the best solutions of what we needed to do now and, and how to move forward. So we look forward to going to work for you this summer. Thank just, you. just touch base on one thing for me, for the people here. The, the shoulder boiler from the existing burner and what you're gonna do with that and what it's gonna mean to savings for the district. Um, we, we originally had something proposed for energy savings um, in the first phase of this project uh, that we proposed last year. And it's what we refer to as a shoulder boiler. It's a smaller boiler than uh, one of the three boilers that we already have uh, serving the high school and middle school complex. By going to a smaller boiler in the shoulder season, in the fall and in the spring, um, we're able to conserve energy. We don't have to uh, heat up the water to the same temperature as we would in the dead of winter. Um, so it's kind of an energy savings um, standard that we try to try to incorporate um, based on needs and and what we were able to fund in the last project we had to cut it and in the process of doing that um, we did address the boilers over at R.D. Wilson we were able to utilize um, two burner sets on on the boilers one we utilized in a replacement boiler uh, to reuse that at the R.D. Wilson school 
And the other one um, we held in reserve to be able to use for parts. And it turned out through working with the maintenance staff um, and working with their engineers, we were able to, to reuse that second burner to retrofit one of our existing boilers um, and cut down on the, the cost of the shoulder boiler installation by, I don't know if it was around $200,000. So, um, so there, there, were, there were lots of opportunities. There were a lot of different eyes taking a look at this. And uh, it was a, a, certainly a great team effort between Western Wayne um, and our company. Thank you. Thank you very much. Do you have a question? Um, Adam Lanza, uh, maintenance staff here. I'm just curious, are they going to do anything with the bleachers in the high school, middle school? No, not immediately. Not, immediately. They, not this summer. They're, they're bad. They, they are. They're identified on the list. They, and, they, and, uh, they are. But they're right there, one of the next things. I you know, just see, so I'm sure you know that our people have to stand to a side and pull it out and watch it go in and it gets jammed and I just want to. If you can keep that going for another year or so, I, I think we can get there. We're, really We're trying to do the, and, and that's not that it's not a priority. No, of course not. But there's some other priorities that need to be done. As Mr. Olson said, if there's extra money at the end, we'll try to do what we can to uh, start that, that that process of bleachers and stuff like that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Moving forward, future meeting. Did we didn't oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, we didn't vote. Sorry. Um, all in favor, vote by saying aye. 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 Those yeah. opposed, no. Are there any abstaining? Motion carries. Thank you very much. Um, future meetings. The next uh, board committee meeting will be held here in the district boardroom at the administration building on February 27th at 6 p.m. The following Monday, March 6th, will, at 7 p.m., will be the next district board meeting here in the district boardroom at the administration building. Uh, previous meetings on July 25th at 6 p.m., an executive session was held for personnel and legal matters here at the district boardroom. On January 30th at 5.30 p.m., an executive session for personnel matters was held here in the district boardroom, followed by um, the board committee meeting at 6 p.m., that evening as well. And as I mentioned earlier, tonight we met in an executive session regarding personnel and legal matters as well. So I have a motion for adjournment. So moved. Second. All right. Motion carries. We are adjourned. Thank you, everyone. Uh, Mr. Warner. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> 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 <laughs>